Okay, the family hatchback, uh, which has a driver's door, passenger door behind that hatch, uh, another passenger door at the back, and then we've got the passenger door. So it looks like a circuit. Uh, and in fact, if we were to put, let's say, uh, say six volts in, and then we were to, let's say, have a resistor and let's say a diode, a light emitting diode down to ground, then we could say that if all these doors were closed, then that light would definitely be on. But that's not usually what happens in a car situation. In a car situation, what normally happens is that if all these are closed, the light goes out. So if you think about this in terms of logic, door closed and this door closed and that door closed and that door closed and that door closed, should result in a zero. So not and, which is NAND. And it looks a little bit like this on your circuit diagram. And if we call this A and B, let's have a look at the two way to start with. Then we end up with a truth table that says, okay, if that door and that door are open, that's an alarm, I want a one. If A is open but B is closed, that's also a problem. And if A is closed and B is open, that's a problem. Only if they're both closed can that alarm light go out. So this is, uh, this is good for two doors, but we've got another three doors to deal with. So we really want a chip that has not a two-way, but maybe a three-way NAND gate. So a three-way NAND gate is the CD4023, which is 14 pins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on both sides. Uh, six, seven, and then we've got VCC coming in here and ground. And then the inputs, uh, let's say here, here, and here. So this will be the pink one and out. And then, hopefully I can remember this, we've got input, 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 and out. And then we've got input, 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 and out. Okay, so if we're looking at a truth table for this guy, let's say the pink guys, we've got our A, our B, and our C, that's our three inputs, and we've got our not A, B, and C. And then we can say, hmm, okay, all, door, all those three doors, A, B, and C are open. That's an alarm. One door is open. Doesn't matter which one. That's an alarm. Uh, two doors are closed, but one is open. Is still a problem. And then finally, all doors are closed. You can turn off the alarm. So that's great. So that allows us to then map uh, A, B, and C to these pink inputs with an output to to um, to be something like well zero let's say all doors are closed so we'll we'll say that's a zero then we, then of course the immediate thing is okay let's feed that back into the next lot but but that's going to be a, a problem because this basically says that a door is open the final result is door is open okay so open 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 so if we feed that into the next bit we're not going to get the situation that we're looking for. We really need to reverse this to make this uh, a one. Uh, so how would we do that? Well, the NAND gate is, um, is a universal gate. We can actually configure it as a NOT gate. The way that we would do that is, uh, let's take our three-way NAND gate. Okay, if we were to say, all right, so if this was a zero, but also this was a zero and this was a zero, that would be a one out. Okay, so that's this situation here. So if we take the zero and we tie it to these three inputs, so if we go, okay, let's put this in to here, but let's let's tie these together. Uh, and this is, well, this is gonna get messy. Let's tie it across the top here to this one. We're gonna have zero, 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 and that will give us a one, which is what we need uh, for the for the next uh, two doors, so um, so that's going to then for the, well the next three doors. So this is going to be 
A, B, and C coming in here. And if we do D, E, and this one coming in here tied. Okay, so we've got a one here. Whoops, <laughs> sorry, that's next door. We've got a one coming from our NAND gate, which has been configured as not. So that's inverting the signal. So here's our one coming in. And then we've got a one coming in from here, closed, closed. So these three doors does indicate not a problem, but we put it through here. Okay, then we've got, we're good. So then these two added to that, one, one, and one should give us a zero and the light can go out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to um, have three inputs coming in, the output inverted, three inputs then coming in, and the end result, you can turn the light off. That's a theory anyway. Let's wire it up and give it a go. Okay, so CD4023, uh, which is our three-way NAND gate, and we've got VCC coming on pin 14. We've got ground out on pin number seven. Uh, we'll look at the rest of it in a minute. We've got an eight-way dip switch, which is, uh, we're gonna use five of these switches here uh, to represent our car doors. So the car doors are open in this position, and then when you close them, uh, then uh, it's on. On, closed, uh, one, true, however you like to say it, high. And how that's gonna happen is we've got VCC being fed in through this resistor array, and effect of this is 1K resistors for all of these, and then out, let's just say, we'll just test it out to ground. So that circuit is currently open, so no light goes on, even though we're feeding at six volts. Uh, so then if we close it, close the door, then that's the signal of one. And if we close three doors, then all of those are signals of one. So on our truth table for NAND gates, we've now got the situation down here where we should get a light out from pin number six. Uh, so let's look at that. So pin number six, there's no light. Let's open the door. We'll open C on three on this dip switch. Yep, that's an issue. We'll open another door and the light goes on the cabin and we'll open another door and the light goes on the cabin. So that seems to be working. Okay, now the next NAND gate, we want to operate as um, an inverter. Now, oh, just interesting here, what are these things here? Well, we, you know we've got 1K resistors coming in here. I've put 100K resistors here tying these to ground. So I'm just trying to eliminate a little bit of noise here with switching or whatever. So this is definitely tied to ground, all of these uh, inputs, uh, unless these are switched. So that's what that is about. Let's just open up some doors again. So um, yeah, I'll put a few more of those in on all the inputs actually, just to make sure that, um, that we're getting clean-ish signals through. Let me do that, I'll come back. So nine inputs. Uh, so we've got pin number one, two, three, four, and five. And then we've got pin number eight, and then what's it? Uh, the uh, tw 12, 13, and 14. No, <laughs> 11, 12, and 13. That's right. And these two are outputs, and pin number six is an output. All right, so to configure the second three way NAND gate as a NOT gate, we need to tie all the inputs together. So, firstly, what we'll do is we'll put the output from pin number six to any one of these other ones that we're tying it together. And then if we tie the two pins on this side of the chip together, and if we tie, we just use this one here, it could be a bit ugly, but still tie this together all right, so what are we testing here? So let's just make sure that we're on track. So we'll put our light back in to say, okay, if doors are open, we've got lights on. Uh, so that's a one, but if all the doors are closed, then that's actually a zero, which is what we want. We've inverted that. So on the other side, the output should be a one. So let's have a look at that. And it is. 
okay so that's just a straight inversion so you can see that if the output ends up being zero uh, sorry one on this side then it's a zero on this side and vice versa so that's now that's now fine that's just operating as a not gate so we'll put that one back into the next one so we need an output going to one of our three inputs on the final NAND gate, the final three-way NAND gate. So let's do that. Looks like the middle one it's gone into. Yep. And then I'm going to bring in our two other car doors, which is D and E. So that's pin number four here. Which is D. And that will switch over to pin number 13. A little ugly, but that's all right. And then we'll just hit this final one is our final door. And so that's number five here or door number E. There we go. All right, so let's firstly make all of these car doors open. And our final input will be our alarm inside our car. So that should be coming out of this one. So the alarm says, you know what, we have an issue because, well, of course we have an issue. All five doors are open. So let's start closing them. So A, B, C, D, and E. And the light goes out. Nice one. And then somebody opens the hatch, which is, I think, C. And our light in the car goes on saying, you know what, there's a problem, there's a door open. Maybe someone goes out to have a look at it. That's the driver, still a problem. Closes the hatch at the back, still a problem. Dive, driver gets in, closes the door, and the light goes out. So that's the circuit working. Um, and that's one way of making sure that if all the doors are open in the car, you've got an alarm on the inside telling you. See you next time.